praise. Uh, Pastor Yabivuze, ndi mfitu mwagisha kuwa na, na madam Momone Puz. Uh, Pastor said it, I'm blessed to be with my wife. Kaijire Jean Florentine. Uh, Kaijire Jean Florentine. Akande wa muzi mwani joyeuse. And she's also known as joyeuse. Aliko ni kari mwita wano mwapuro no mwondanga mwono. Aliko niko kazu kuchane kurutana yonde yos. That is the name that is known by so many people. So, um, harakandi lero mufitie kanje kumi hariko mwita. And there is another one I call her. Nda, nda wako pesheje mwita kizuba zuba. I call her kizuba zuba. So, yu lero muli familia wa mwvise ngo kizuba zuba wazi uwariwe ugiru. And they here in my family, they know who is kizuba zuba. Uh, Aza hano, nda shakaiko basuhuza. Comes here, I would like her to greet you. Benshi ni nshuti, uh, harina wamba kora nye, hano. Uh, she has many friends here. She has so I want her to greet the church. And use the same microphone as mine. No problem. The Lord be praised. Such a joy to be here. Yes, nanti na menye, madam. I've known, I've known Pastor in 1998. I've known Pastor in 1998. And I have worked with many of these here. Yes, you have worked in Rwanda in 1999. And in 2009, I've had so many familiar faces. I'm happy to see you. I love this team. You are just to just go and learn. We got to John thirteen thirty-five. I wanted to share John thirteen thirty-five. Johanna, two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. John thirteen thirty-five. When the daughter and Uri belong to the two, can he have a vugango? Start with thirty-four. It says. Dava hite je kodi sha. Ngo mukunda nengu kona ba kunze. Mube ari kona mje mukunda na. A new commandment. I give to you that you love one another as I have loved you, that you also love one another. Ibyo ni byo byo se baza minyera ho komuri abiji shkaba anje ni mukundana. By this, all will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. Ni senge shomora njira rero. It's a prayer I always have. Ngure tse hano muru senge. Not just here in church. Aho na koze hos. Everywhere I have worked. Abatura njiba njibos. All my neighbors. Baza jebare wa ngotu kujes. Njewe ndu mhechar akazikanje ni human resources. Director hano eshna jie hora. My work have been in human resources. That's what I've done. Baza jeba fugango. That they will say. Kuva tujira omu human resources umuro kore. Tukwa wanyi tandu kanir. That since we had a Christian HR, we have had a difference. Uri amu doktor, uri amu gynecolog. Ara tandu kanye. Kani chiza nukaru umuro kore. That doctor, that gynecologist is different just because he's a... Uri amu receptionist omuri beka kwa chira nuburju wana utandu kanye kuwera kwa umuro kore. That receptionist in BK receives... Nidyo senge shumba senge rango. Wazame nye kuburaba na bima. That's my prayer that they will know that you're a child of God. Thank you. Rakoze chani. Thank you, Madam. Just tawabgiye gito kumateka ya chuno ko imana yaduha ya kuimenya tu kiraba na watu tu kiraba tu tu kiraba juu. What I can say is that God gave us the grace to know Him when we were still young. Tukwa huri muri kaminuza i Burundi. We met at the university in Burundi. Gena wanje kuba mungo wakiri muri segonde na sangamo. I was there first, and then she came after. Muri grupi biblik universiter na kuzumurimo na wa indetse numu yobozwa yo. I've been in the student fellowship. I've also been its leader. Turakunda na ari kikino chadu huje ni Kristo. Kristo yala du huje chane. What got us together is Christ. He was the center of our union. Du 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 hura du senga bitu matu menyana tu na kunda na kurusha ukotkwa ari du sanzwe du kunda. So both of us were Christians. We're praying, and it made our love deep and stronger. Kuye meza kuzawa ano. And we decided to live together. Tu marimia ka ineyo se ya fiancé. And for four years of fiancé or courtship. Anyo madukoro bukwe. Muri mirongo chenda numunani. And then we got married in 1998. God gave us two children, four children, two boys, two girls. Uh, uh, 
hano. Our firstborn Rema, she was here in the morning in the first service. We came together. Arangije muri Oklahoma Christian University. Arakora muri Beka. Oh no, mu mu kozi rubu mwa kodo shaje invisage. So she graduated in Oklahoma Christian University. She's now working in Beka. So as you can understand. Na Musa zawe nuko hari nondo mu kuri kira muri university. O uri muri secondary ni buchura muri ko nyaka ya gish. The one in secondary is the last one, so you can hear that we are mature. Uyu munsi dufite umugisha ndetse nuko umukwe wacu Yanik And today we are blessed our son in law Yanik Yaduherekeje Yanik Kanoma Imana iguhe umugisha cyane ndamukunda cyane umukozi w'Imana She's a servant of God kandi ejo mubwira yuko mwantumi yarambye nzagukeza And yesterday when I told him that I've been invited here he said that he's going to accompany me Imana iguhe umugisha Yanik Imana iguhe umugisha ni umugabo wa Zoe Zoe iradukunda ni umwana wa Grand Frere bafite umwana bari mumaze imisi mu bitaro bavuye mu bitaro ejo So ariko durashima Imana ko yamukijije God has healed the child. Yesu ashimwe. The Lord be praised. Ah, uh, Pastor yamgiye kuzabigisha kuri umukristo mu murimo. Ah, uh, the pastor asked me to teach you about the Christian in the marketplace. Icho yeah, exactly. Urakoze cyane. Icho ni se Christian in the marketplace. Christian in the marketplace. Ah, uh, marketplace yo bavuga ngo marketplace cyangwa se ahantu na ahantu tuba dukorera imirimo y'ubucuruzi imirimo yindi sanzwe mbese aho hanze niko nabivuga aho hanze aho ngaho hanze yitorero marketplace is out there outside the church where we do our works where we earn a living hanze y'imiryango yacu outside our families aho duhura nabo tukorana where we meet colleagues aho duhura nabo ducuruzanya hamwe and those we do business together with aho niho ubushakashatsi muri America bwabuze yuko mirongo inani na batanu b'amatorero ya church church members mirongo itanu inani na batanu ba abanyetorero bamara hagati ya mirongo irindwi na mirongo inani kwija na by'umwanya wawe a research in the US has shown that uh, more than 85% of Christians they spent more than 70% of their time outside. Ariko tutagiye nubwo mu muri ubwo bushakashatsi. And not talking about the research. Reka twifateho nk'ingero gusa. Let us take our examples of Ufate kuva kuwa mbere kugeza kwa gatano. From Monday to Friday. Utangire mu gitondo kare kare. Start early in the morning. Ubyuka mu mutwe ari ukujya ku kazi. When you wake up in the morning you go to work. Witegura utegura abana. As you get ready as you prepare the children. Sambiri bamwe ndetse ni samoya za mu gitondo. Uh, for some it's eight, for others it's seven in the morning. Bakahamara amasaha umunani byibuze. They spend at least eight hours there. Ataha mu rugo yananiwe. And when they go back home they are tired. Umusaruro ukomeye wose utanze ku kazi. And the big productivity has been spent at work kandi abantu babonanye muri ubwo buzima muri cyo cyumwero benshi ntabwo ari abo mu rugo and the, most of the people they meet at work they are not people from ntabwo ari pastor it's not pastor oh yeah ni babandi bakorana no it's those people they work ni babandi bigana those students they ni babandi bacuruzanya those business ni babandi bari muri transport hamwe those they are in the same business of transport aho hantu nahingenzi so that place is very very important aha mwitorero here in church it is just a showroom in, in showroom na hantu na hantu tugaragariza ubukristo bwacu gusa yuko dukijijwe it's where we display our christianity that tugasenga tugahimbaza tugatura tukavuga ubutumwa ariko however ahari igipimo cy'ubukristo bwacu aho twerera imbuto z'ubukristo bwacu ni hanze yitorero ni hari ya kukazi ni hari ya twiga aho niho ruzingiye that's where it is aho that's the core niho wowe umenyekana that's where you get to aho there ni ubujangwe bwawe bujya kumugaragara that's where your animosity will come out and be seen cyangwa nubuntu bwawe or even your gracious nubwiza bwawe and your goodness babwinjoyinga kurushaho that's where it will be enjoyed 
ni kama bagire ndo muyobozi ndi DG ndi CEO wa company insurance company itwa Mayfair Insurance Company Rwanda. Let me tell you that I'm the CEO of Mayfair Insurance Rwanda it's an insurance company. Ariko kimwe mu masengesho nsenga. But one of the prayers I pray Nuko buri muntu wese umukozi wanje. Is that every single one of my employees yaba muri environment yishimiye. Will be in an environment that they enjoy. Itandukanye na handi hari ubundi siyo. Different from other places where they are. Akumva kuba ayobowe na Daniel. To feel that being led by Daniel bimuhesheje inyongera gaciro is adding something no mutaka nukomeye cyane and a greater security hallelujah hallelujah ariko nababwire ngo but let me also tell nanabyira ate let me also boss about niko bimeze bimeze neza it is it's good i i get feedbacks from my employees to rakora appraiso dukora banje bajya babimbira they give me the feedback that they are happy of the way I lead them. And I'm also happy to have them as my employees. And I pray for them and I do my best so that they might thrive in that environment. Everything rises and follows on leadership. If I start making their life better, they will resign. And in a few days, productivity of companies are affected. The productivity of the company will be affected. But uh, the best of me and the values I have and the security and peace I'm giving them it will cause them to be productive and being happy. Not necessarily not because I'm paying them a lot that they can't earn anywhere. There is something I can give that others won't There is godliness and and godly values that I can I can lock them in my place and they won't leave. Of course, I won't their salary, but they will leave because of that peace. That friendly environment. Coming and feeling that they are part of a family. I'm sure. That is in Ezra. No doubt about it. They are not going to leave me. Go check your experience. Go check the experience, not just in Mayfair, but other places. Wherever there is a good leader, again, that the rotation, I mean, how do you have a turnover? The turnover. Turnover, the employee turnover, it gets low. But when the leader is full of uh, bitterness, being like a tiger, mm -hmm. even if you pay them so much, will say the peace of my heart and my joy is way more than money. It's way more than money. Am I lying? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, so now let's talk about work. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 14 verse 23. All hard work brings a profit. But mere talk leads only to poverty. Yeah. In English, they say it well. Hard work. Hard work. Hard work. All hard work. Amen. Amen. All hard work brings a profit. All hard work brings profit. But mere talk is leads only to poverty. And Proverbs chapter 28 verse 19 Now 
ukurikirana amateshwa azatindahara those who walk their land will have abundant food but those who chase fantasies will have their fill of poverty we those who walk their land azabona ibumutunga ahagi will have abundant food pastor yakoze cyane kumpa we mukoro nubwa mbere nigishije kuri ya nubwa mbere nigishije kuri topic nubwo nakoze ndi mukazi kandi nakora imana nakora I thank the pastor for giving me this opportunity to talk about this topic. It's my first time even though I've been in different positions and work. Kani soma bibiliya ariko gutegura inyigisho yatumye ngira icyo nsobanura cyangwa se discovering mbona ntarinzi. But preparing this teaching has led me to discover something I didn't. Habwo narinzi ko Imana yaturemeye gukora. I did not know that God created us to work. Narinzi uko Imana yaturemeye mu ishisho yayo ngo duse nayo gusa. I knew that he created us in his image to be like him and to be there. To love him and to love him and we, his God and his people and praise him. That's all. That's, That's, all. All. That's what I knew. But by reading in some of the Bibliya, when I was reading the Bible, it angi ni rokabi ni chumi nagatan. Genesis chapter two verse fifteen. Haruka ngowe take imana ijana mono imushira muri yango bje muri yomuri yeden. The Bible says that the Lord God took the man and put him in the garden. Imam, why? Why? Ngo ai hingi. To walk it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ai hingi ni biri mo. To walk for it. Kanda yirindi. And to keep it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, nasaba nukiako. To have understood that. Eh, imana. God. Na abga tuwe miango tuwe baje. Didn't create us to be less. Na abgi e au muni service yambere. I told those in the first service. Yuko ikiwa zogi kome ya cha generation tu fiti muri kigishi. That the biggest problem in the generation we have today. Mururugu andarugu ati turi mwahanga. In our Rwanda where we are. Umga na turamu tetesha. You know, we spoil the children. We do not train them to work you hard when they are. are. When you go to Europe or to the US, because they do not have house 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 because they do not have house 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 they teach a child to feed themselves and to uh, close themselves to do everything and to fend for themselves because everyone does that. But for us, we felt that those are lower works and children have to be taken care of and spoiled. But what's the result? Is that when they go to their homes, when we feel that they have grown, they are mature, and they the husband and the wife both comes with expectations that they are going to find the wife who masters the affairs of the home. But they start complaining. And you know problems come. And you start going in reconciliation. And you start teaching. But where did it go? We are not trained to work while we are still young. We are not trained that early in the morning we have to go out and work. It is something I saw. My mother didn't like someone who slept until late. A child who sleeps until late, that was a problem. Early, early morning, that one would wake up. Some to go fetch water. Others to clean the field. Others to wash dishes. All types of food. Ariko yaza gasanga wicha ya honga ho imbere yimbuga ida ida kubuji. When she will come and find you in front of the place that is not swift, she will come with her stick. Aka zaka basanga ho muri. And she will find you where you are. Muta kawo nyom. And then she will slap you. Muka wa honga ho miruka. And you leave running. Kuberich. Why? Hakurera maboko. Because you were not supposed to sit idle. Babuga ngo 
Le monde appartient à ceux qui se réveillent tôt. Uh, they say that the world belongs to those who wake up early. Whether you're a pastor, wake up early. Rise early in the morning and start working. Because the work has to be done early. Jesus himself was the son of God, but he was a carpenter. He was a carpenter. God himself only created the woman. He touched the mud and he worked. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The holy, God, the, the holy God, 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 because we've been created the holy God, the holy and let us prepare where God, we are. God, the holy God, the holy God, the holy God, the 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 work uh, makes the man noble. Hallelujah. Uh, Kinyarwanda. Umurimo. Work uh, gives value to the one who does it. Let's work. Let us rise early in the morning. As an example, I gave you an example of how my day looks like. I wake up early in the morning. Very early in the morning. Madam, ubu ari hari igana ono mukozi ukomeye cyane. My wife is studying, but she's a hard working person. Ari kumbu ari ya PhD. Ari hari gai PhD anakora. But she's doing a PhD and working. Please appreciate her. Yewe yo mitekereje ono mva wapi kabisa. When I think about it, it's just too much. Kuiga PhD byararangiye. You know, PhD was out of reach. Ari ko However, she's a hard working person. Presently, she wants to sleep at 4 a.m. What? Like, what? Say, I can't do this. But she's a hard working person. Very hard working, indeed. Hard working person. She works hard. So I wake up early myself. I wake up and pray. Five in the morning. Those are my hours. And when I wake up, I can see the bed. The bed is sleeping, and when out. I'm up, I'm out. I go out. And after that, I go to do sports. I go to do sports. Six forty-five, six thirty. I'm swimming, doing at least forty rounds. 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 I'm swimming, doing at I go there, I arrive first before <laughs> the most of the time. Except those who do cleaning, those are the ones who come before me. There is very, madam very, very, uh, I mean, no one who committed the channel. She's very, very committed. She has many children, but she has many children. 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 She has many and the day it gets to 8, 830, you have to feed the spirit and, and the body is fit. Ready for the journey of the day. And you know, uh, thoughts start flowing in. Challenges in the take on a Kazuka Waga Koranes. And you can do your work very well. Kueriki. Why? Because you have started early. And you have. Pastor asked me to share with you my experience. I've uh, worked eight years in Sonarwa. And six years in a Community Banking. And I've been in Oiko Credits. And four years in the Community Banking. Uh, in Oiko Credits as the country manager. 
Muri yi uh, company Mayfair Insurance and nayo maze mu imyaka And I've been in Mayfair Insurance for the last 6 years. Nike nize niki nize muri yo myaka yose. What did I learn? What are the lessons learned in those years? Icya mbere. The first. Baho uiteka gushaka. See uh, be where God wants you. Sengimana. Seek God. Ube ahimana yifuza shaka yuko uba. And be where God wants you to be. Bibiria iratubwira mwitangiriro 2023. The Bible says in uh, Genesis chapter 26. Murongo mure mure mwazaga hasisomera ariko ha ushaka gutinda gutanga urugero. But I want to give this. Imana irabwira ibwira Isaac ati ntumanuke nguje muri Egypte. God say to Isaac don't go down to Egypt. Manuka umanuke uje Go to Abimelech. What was in Egypt? Egypt, there was the Nile that was watering plants. And they always have good harvest. It was, a, uh, it was a bad time then. There was famine, there was drought. Ariko. However, God didn't want him to go in the place that he wanted to go. Do not be led by your emotions and your mathematics. No. However, go down. Go to those who are your enemies. And in the desert. And when he got there, he planted and he harvested the hundredfold. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Areza, areza. He harvested, he had a great harvest. Waho, and the king there, ati, no, no. he said, No. Go away from us because you're way bigger than us. Let me tell you. Every time you rise with God, every time you're seated in the place where God wants you to be, every time you're in the right place where God wants you to be, even though people might rise against you God will bless you in that place God will bless you in that place God will fill you in my life experience or in my professional experience there came a time where things got tough and at some point uh, they wanted to suspend me at work but let me tell you this God turned it and I continued things that were bad things that were not looking good it became even better hallelujah hallelujah so, so if God gives you a place where you have to be away, and if he gives you his blessing he will be with you he will fight for you he will be on your side and you find things where others have and you got blessings where others didn't when we started Mayfair we were in difficult times. The insurance sector was in a crisis. I don't remember well the, 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 the stats at that time were not looking good. The regulator was not looking even for the regulator, it was difficult to accept a newcomer in the industry. Because even those that were already in place were not performing well. It, it, it really made sense. But God made the way and we got a license. 
And it ended with us actually. And they came an announcement saying that we were the, the last to the, they were they were not accepting new ones. But at that time now they have to open. 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 And that time they say, let us and first manage and then we can accept newcomers later on. Uh, the thing that comes to your mind at that time is to be like anyone. And then you ask yourself, who are you? What's the difference you're going to bring that others do not have? You know, others have failed. What tells us that you're going to succeed in this? Hallelujah! 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 But today I'm happy. Because even though we, we spent one year and two months without a license, yet we were working, paying uh, salaries in four years, we have made profit and even uh, the losses were absorbed, the losses of previous um, years. Now, Mayfair is in a very good position. Irunguka. It's making profit. Last year we made a profit. And even the previous year we made a profit. And this year we make a profit as well. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Even though you might resign, in that company, you live in a good position. And they will ask you, How, how did you manage to get a big position? institutions in this country to see the insurance. insurance. As insurance were there, how did you break in and find your way? I don't know. I don't see. But God. I can't. God makes a way where there is no way. Hallelujah. 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 We will return the earnings reserves. Uh, our reserve in our accounting are, it's positive there is no losses I have no losses and it's only been five years that we've been working God has been with us it wasn't easy glory to him glory to God glory to God may the glory of God be on us and 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 the glory of God be on us Psalm 90 verse 17. Hallelujah. Amen. Establish the work of our hands. Yes, establish the work of our hands. Hallelujah. 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 Let the favor of God be on us. It has been on Joseph. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It has been on Joseph. Joseph went to Potiphar's house. And he was sold by his brothers. Joseph went. Being a slave, someone sold. But Joseph, he went with God. And when he got put to Potiphar's house, God blessed him. The Bible tells us in Genesis chapter 39 from verse 5 Joseph had been a slave in Egypt from the time that he made him overseer in his house and over all that he had the Lord blessed the Egyptian's house for Joseph's sake the blessing of the Lord was on all he had in the house and in fields. 
Be where God wants you to be. Pray that the favor of God might be on you. May the good hand of God. The one that Nehemiah talked about telling those in Jerusalem. He told them how his trip, how his journey, how the king had given him and what he needed to restore Jerusalem. And he gave them, him, people to go with him. And he added the word saying, it was not because of some anywhere, anything else. It was because of the good hand of the Lord that was on me. The good hand of my God was on me. It caused me to find favor in his eyes. Second. Keep your vision and passion. And the hard work. In Colossians, in Colossians chapter 3, verse, uh, verse 23 to 24, the Bible says, and whatever you do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not to men. Whatever you do, do it not looking for gain just, not for you to be approved, but do it as serving the Lord, the Father in heaven. When you go to work, do your work in such a way that those who come after you those who will follow you or succeed you they will ask who are seated in this position hallelujah, hallelujah. when you go to work Work with all your heart, not leaving anything behind. And do it with your heart being there. Uh, experience in that experience of three companies that I all started, I was a pioneer of those. One of the things you have to face you have to build a team you have to bring uh, employees you start alone I was told that uh, a, fetus, a fetus in the mother's womb when there is a uh, name that is formed and the uh, fetus starts developing that's what I heard I don't have a proof uh, I hear that uh, the front is what starts in this in the front here there are legs there are arms there is the head and even ears and as a child, as the growth, each thing starts developing at a certain time, and another organ will develop, and another organ will develop. And I like to tell my employees that that's how I started. I was uh, the, the those who are sent to do things. I was a cashier, I was a driver, I was a messenger who takes things. That's how a pioneer works. Things you start everything, 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 you
everything, doing everything. The company, company, you know, the brief, the briefcase like company. The briefcase company, basically. <laughs> you go with it in your hands. But as you start working, ah, you reception. Then you have a receptionist. You have a financier. And you bring in a finance guy. And then you stop doing the accounting and finance. Bank, anybody bank, who has a cash, a manager, branch managers, branch managers, who has a credit officer, you bring credit officers, who go there, and all those responsibilities, and giving them that's how it starts. But what has helped me now? The passion, it's the passion, hard work and passion, hard work and passion. isn't it my wife? She can give a testimony about that. Believe in it. Easy. Even though it's difficult. Let me tell you that starting our season of community banking was not easy I for me. Bank. I never worked in a bank. I was coming from Sonargua having spent eight years there. But you come as an MD and you have never managed a bank. How do you do it? How do you do it? do it hallelujah hallelujah simple simple hire the right people put them on the right place and they, they will figure out where to drive the bus hallelujah amen they will know and they will even teach you <laughs> And when you go to, to hire, do not uh, be led by your feelings and emotions. Zana character, the right character. Bring the right character. That's the principle I have learned that helps When me. you go to hire, hire for character. And train and for skills. That is what has Second, competence. Is the person competent? They will come and teach you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's I want to emphasize on doing the work with all your heart. And you see benefits you find mbere, from that. I told you earlier, earlier, those who were in the first service, no one tells a child from the mother's womb to leave. What brings a child out? The first month they are in the womb. They are there in the water. The second they are in the third they are in the womb. The fourth month they are in the womb. The fifth they are in the womb. The sixth they are in the womb. The seventh they are in the womb. The eighth they are in the womb. And in the ninth month, one day that you don't know. Things happen. Madam, I can And the woman Madam, will see water and they will start start feeling things, some pain. What has happened? It means the child has reached the level of maturity. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Telling him you are uh -huh. no longer fitting in this environment. With your capacity, with your size, with your maturity, go outside. It's no longer your environment. Hallelujah! And the child will go out. There are some phenomena, but uh, I'm talking about the natural way. Now for you, stop talking. Stop talking. Stop boasting. Build capacity in you. Build capacity in you. 
work hard and you see the result from that. The third point. Integrity. Integrity. Honesty. Love. Uh, will market you. You can copy a product. You will never copy me. I'm who I am with my integrity and the love and the passion you can't copy me now we, for you we, be who you are and, and build values in you. and people will fight for you they will fight for you they will you because there are no more people with integrity you want someone to plant things, to start things, or to build a fit an employment rate in Hejuru. You will be like, we have a high rate. And I hear that there are so many who are jobless. Many people who graduated from universities who are sick in the jobs. They are going to recruit them to do an interview for two hours. 100 people. You can't find one who fits what you want. Why? Why? There is a problem. There is a problem in the education system. And there is a problem in the character. There is a problem in the integrity of people. When you have that person, when you have the integrity, even though you might be a foreigner, they will fight for you. Joseph was the prime minister in the whole Egypt. He was in prison. But they remembered that of all the wise people who were in that nation, no one could interpret dreams. Daniel Daniel, same story. Same story. Better a poor man who walks in the integrity than a rich man who is crooked in his ways. Proverb cyangwa se imigani 28 Whoever walks in Ugenda ari nyanga mugayo agenda yemye cyangwa akomeye ariko ufite inzira zitagororotse aza ntagazakomera murakoze cyane thank you ubunyanga mugayo it is a it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's a golden mine Integrity is a golden mine. I tell you the truth. You have to be sometime politically correct. There are people who tell me you're a leader. You have to be politically correct. Which is very good, and that is right. It's good. And uh, that's that's right. There is nothing wrong about that. But I like to tell my heart. Keep me from playing, trying to to look like another Daniel that I'm not. May God keep me from that. I want to be authentic. I want to be the Daniel you look for and you find him. In the evening, he's Daniel. During the day, he's Daniel. When he sleeps, he's Daniel. I do not want two Daniel in me. I do not want two Daniel in me. It has a cost. I do not want two Daniel in me. I do not want two Daniel in me. I 
Sometimes it requires you to put your life at risk. Ariko, However, strong relationship are built on honesty. Strong relationship are built on honesty. You know, hypocrites do not like other hypocrites. Mm -mm. No. There will be hypocrites. But if you try to play that Mucha, hypocrisy card, on them, you know, the, the, the relationship will stop. So that playing, now, if a hypocrite is playing another hypocrite, and they do not like so that, maybe. It's wrong. Then it, means it, means it means they shouldn't be doing it. Because what you don't want others to do for you, you shouldn't do it for others. So hypocrisy is bad. Whether he brings money or whether it promotes you or prospers you or not. Because in truth, being a hypocrite having integrity is good. Even though it might have your head cut. Be has someone of integrity. Don't play. Don't play. Be yourself. Sometimes you meet someone, you like, those games you're playing, why don't you be you? you? Or I accept you as you, you, I reject you as you, but be you. In the morning, he's blue. they are blue. Afternoon, he's yellow. Uh, afternoon, he's yellow. That person they will think that they are wise, yet they are foolish. That person they think that all others are foolish they are the only ones who are the eyes of others look at them and, and know them and they put them on a weighing scale and they will know that nothing. and when it comes to higher responsibilities who can we give that responsibility when the name comes out they will be like oh, keep quiet you don't know, you don't know. No, keep quiet. Quiet. There is a leader. Let me mention the name. Ambassador Murigandi. Ambassador He's a man of integrity. He's a man of integrity. I really like him. He served the nation in integrity. And passion and self. Selflessness and sacrifice. Uh, he was appointed the Secretary General of RPF. Uh, the, the question they had was, Who can we trust? Myself, the born again is Am I the one who is supposed to be here? However, those who are in charge they told him that very thing that's what we want that integrity that integrity we want that which you have those values is what we want because they use that to have to be a politician you have to be someone who is people who treat others with politics people who go not seeking their own people who want uh, the, the nation's those are the ones who are needed if you have it you sell you market yourself Galatia, uh, Galatians chapter 5 verse 22 on the fruits of the spirit there is a place where peace, joy, peace. love joy peace long suffering 
kindness, ngo, goodness. Yes, urangiza. Baravuga ngo ibyo byose ngo nta mategeka bihana. Against such there is no law. Nta mategeka bihana. There is no law against such things. That honest nta mategeka bihana. That honest. Ubwo bunyanga mugayo nta mategeka bihana. No law against it. Urabiyangira iki bijemo. Why do you reject it? Be in it. Kandi nta handi babishakira babishakira mu itorero. And you find that in the church. Itorero yakabaye itanga bageni beze. The church should be giving good rights. Ariko siko biri. But that's not how it is. Nakoze mu masezerano community banking. I worked in a masezerano community banking. Naro kritaga abarokore gusa. I used to recruit only there was no unbelief there. Every morning we we'll pray before we start working. But it happened two times. After we had prayed in the morning and the, the worker we had prayed with around 11, I took them to the uh, police station because they had stolen. <laughs> You ask yourself, is it this person we were together with in the prayers? Is it the born again Christian who had here? What happened to them? Amen. Amen. Uh, that I have learned in all those things. Be decisive and action oriented. Be decisive and action oriented. Uh, James chapter 2 verse 18. That someone will say, You have faith and I have works. Show me your faith without works, and I will show you my faith by my works. Our faith has to go together with works. The work that we do, they are the ones that bring transformation in our lives. The thoughts that you give, the desires that you have, it will never change anything. It will never bring transformation. But transformation will be brought by action. the actions you make. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you say, I'm going to start exercising, uh, the many times you say it, it's not what will bring transformation in your life. But what we'll do is to, even if you wear a training, uh, what will bring transformation is for you to put your clothes and go. If it is walking, if it is running, whatever it is. If it is gym, you go to the gym. If it is swimming, you go to the swimming. If it is prayer, you won't say that I pray, and yet you're not praying. As, until you start praying, that's when prayer will bring transformation in your life. If it is the word of God, and uh, when you start reading it, systematically, and you read it systematically, that's when it can bring transformation in your life. Saying it is not enough. Take decisions, take measures in your life, and you accomplish it. Self-discipline. Self-discipline. So fear violence. Not to indulge yourself to. To treat yourself. Yeah, kuti babarira, kuti. Hardly, not to indulge yourself. Ngo, ah, burije. Think it's late. Rabo na masage zekure. No time has gone far. Rabo na na kuzumunsi mure mure. You know, had a long day. Rabo na buri azabi kora nejo. I can do it even tomorrow. Hakazi kinu chitwa procrastination. And then comes procrastination. Procrastination in it might be a word you for the first time. It's an English word. It means it's to put tomorrow what you could do today. It will never bring transformation in your life. 
if you, you thought about it Bikore. do it take a decision Bikore. and do it Imenduka, change and draw it and all the things that come will come because you have done something we are going to the last before challenges never give up learn and improve we gain the say we yungure. Bibiri ravuga mu mu bagalatia gatanda tu murongo wa 9. The Bible says in Galatians chapter 6 verse 9. Haravuga ngo twe gucogorera gucogora gucogorera gukora neza. Guko igihe ni gisohora tuzasarura ni tutagwa isari. Let us not become weary in doing good for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Gukora bisabimbaraga. Work requires strength. Kandi gukora hari ubwo udashimwa bigaguca intege. And you know sometimes you won't be appreciated for what you have done and it can be discouraging. Hari nigihe hari nubwo ukora nibizana umusaruro ubishaka. And sometimes you work and it does not yield the harvest or the product production that you want. And sometimes you work and things become even worse more than they would have been if you did not work. And sometimes it can put you in trouble. And some will choose not to take a risk in their lives. They will say it would have been good if I had sat idle and do nothing. But who risks nothing has nothing. And those who do not work, they do not do mistakes. And those who do not mistakes, they do not learn. And if you do not learn, you can't improve. There is a man who worked for a company called Johnson and Johnson. He was the commercial director. And he came up with a product and proposed it to the director. CEO. And the team that was in charge of uh, assessing the products, they did their work very well. And they took enough time to learn that product, to assess it, and to take it through the product development phases. And he went to the laboratories. Laboratories and a product. And the laboratory did a good product. And packaged it in such a good way. They, would, they did a good marketing study. And they did a the first sample. They put it in the market and it was uh, approved, accepted by the customers. And after doing all the studies, they say the product is good, it is loved, the technical they let us start producing in mass so that we can uh, give uh, to a bigger market. They did that and after some month the product caused so much loss. It lost so much. And the CEO, the the called the commercial director who had come up with the product idea in his office and he said come here looked at him in the face I think the other one might have thought that this is the end of me this is the end of my work and he pointed a finger at him and said don't repeat the same mistake. But go and make more mistakes. And they 
Yena nusubire muri kosa udukoreye sha. Do not repeat this mistake you have done for us. Ya tuzani akakaga gakome nibihombo bikome. Ariko shuti yanje. But my friend. Yena ukora makosa menshi. Go keep on making mistakes. Kuko makosa uyigira mu. Because you learn from those mistakes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tuga kubita umwana ngo yakosheshe. Do not uh, slap a child because they have done a mistake. Oh yeah. No. Encourage the child and say you have learned this and say yes. Tomorrow I'll do better. At least you have learned how you do differently. Hallelujah. 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 Challenges will be there. We do things that we are horror. Nababgiye kare gutangira amashatsezana um, community bank oiko credit mefea ndumo pioneer ndige nyinu tangira told you how it was to be a pioneer starting amashatsezana community banking oiko credit and uh, mefea insurance yabaye experience mu buzima bwange itanyoroheye it was a very difficult experience in my life kuryo wageraga aho ngaho kuva ugiye kubivamo some point i felt like i was going to give up but don't give up but don't. There are times I spent sleepless nights. Ariko, those are challenges. However, those are challenges. Uh, what is there that is important? Is to say, did I got myself into this? Every time I felt that God has spoken to me about it. God has sent me here. We have spent, we spent six months waiting for the license of Masiziano Community Banking. After I had resigned from Sonargua in 2005, I met an inspector from uh, the central bank. And uh, he told me, Daniel, had you asked me for advice before you resigned, I wouldn't have advised you to leave Sonargua going to microfinance. He had been in the inspection of uh, so many microfinances. It was messy and they wanted to close it all. This man had developed a career in a Institution. He's going to mess up with his career. He's going to mess up with his career. And another one came. Have you heard what the president said? After they had closed the microfinance or radios and TVs, they were talking about the microfinances that had taken people's money. And there you are waiting to get the license to operate. Um, 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 one of the leaders in uh, the central bank, they looked at me and they were like, do you think we are crazy? We are closing some more to another. Let us, let us fix this problem because three billion of the, uh, of of the have gone. The government has given 1.5 billion to the population. And others, they are trying to recover the loans from those microfinances so that they can give the money to the population. They have sought lawyers, the local authorities, they are giving the money so that you can recover this money for the people. And now you want to open a and to bring more trouble to the trouble we have already? We think that you have resigned. There you are. 
batafunguriye no kuvuga ngo ugiye mu muhanda and if they do not open it means you're going to the road ari kicangomezaga ni kimwe but what was strengthening me yukonza imana yari yavuganye na before i came god had spoken to me nyuma ya meza tandatu and after six months license kwa raibonye we got the license nyuma ya imyaka ngira ngo itatu after three years kwa tangiye kunguka we started making profits nyuma bahamaze imyaka itandatu after six years dufite amasha matandatu we had six branches ngira ngo abakozi 54 employees dufite bakiriya ngira nk'ibihumbi 20 gutyo like 20000 customers kandi twunguka and we were making profit hallelujah 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 challenge will be there challenges will be there kuda chiki ntege kuzaguterya kugera kuri but not giving up who will cause you to go far ni mureba ho igihugu cyacu giturutse look at how uh, where are abanyarwanda twakagombye kuba twebwe dufite ayo masomo neza cyane as randans you should have those lessons sekereza igihugu miliyoni y'abantu barapfuye barashye imagine a country million of people die amafaranga y'igihugu yagiye hanze all the money of the country is taken outside ha nzwe go zihari there are no institutions nta gisirikare nta police nta bacamanza nta byenda gutakiye there is nothing abacengeze barinjira bagateza umutekano mu and you know uh, the insurgents are coming and going back causing insecurity ariko however abayobozi they didn't give up <laughs> but the leaders did not give up barakomeje barakora they kept working bari gabiga mu masomo yibyo banyuzemo and they learned from what they have been bagenda bahindura uburyo bwo bikorera and they kept improving uburwanda rutgeze kuremana rwanda is really far gone uburwanda rugeze kurema my friends god for my friends oh hallelujah hallelujah ariko niki but what is kuda chiki ntege is not giving up kwe guchogora gukora neza let us not give up kuko igihe nigisohora because in the right time tuzasarura nitagwa isare if we do not lose heart kwe guchogora do not give up ibya ni gwiguci ntege what is discouraging you when you boss ukumere nabi whether you might have a boss who is when making you like a you, or you have a job you feel like resigning from from the good news i brought you today don't give up don't give up do not give up learn and improve learn and improve we hallelujah don't give up to be very more Don't give up. Who we were more. Ni buru na manyamakosa. If you did mistakes, ikosore. Correct yourself. Ni bikosa riri kuri we. If the mistake is on the other side, ni hanganire. Please bear with him. Nigeze kugira mu collaborateur madame we ntabwo muvuga aramuzi. I had uh, uh, someone uh, were working with my wife knows the person yari cancer, was mentioned the name. Yari cancer. The person was like a cancer for me. Mu buzima bwanje Daniel. In my life Daniel ntabwo nari bwakorana no muntu nuyu ntabwo nana namubona ngo tunaturane yari mubi ariko the person was evil ariko mubibwe ntibwagarukiraga kuri daniel but he did not stop with daniel akarya umutima bakozi bose he will bring trouble to all the employees no akriya bakabigeramo even the customers they will be in that no 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 ho yagiye gutura agira ibibazo and when where he wants to leave he had trouble ahantu wose uri mu nyo bibazo gusa everywhere he was a trouble maker bavuga ngo zitukwamo nkuru amakosa yagaruka kabarije wakize and then the mistakes he would do they would come back on me because i was the leader nabwira nti mugende mu ngenzura aho nabukoze hose and i would go and say go and kuva twataha mu Rwanda aho nakoze harazwe i've worked where i've worked in aba twakoranye barazwe and so i with them muzababaze uwo muvuga si Daniel go and ask them because that person you're talking about is not Daniel muvuga ntabwo ari je that person you're talking about is not me mungenzure nduwo ndiwe go and examine me i'm who i am igiye cyarageze imanira mujyana and time came god took that person took that person away from me aragenda ariko aragenda and the person went nundi wa mukurikiyeho na waragenda and the other who followed him they went reka babwire let me tell you bari abantu mujye mu basengere those people you need to pray those for people them. trouble makers around those you those trouble makers around mu basengere pray for them mushora kuzabirukana muta 
Batamaze kabiri. You might trust them without. Kwinje muri university Burundi baradufungiye gusenga. I want to want to the university of Burundi. JPE JPE Burundi barayifungisha. The student fellowship was not allowed. Rector arangaye ko dusenga. And the rector didn't want us to pray. Umwe twe aravuga ngo. And one of us said. Muzi nibindi. Do you know what? Let us pray for him to go. Let us pray for him and share him. And he started praying for him and he went. So, Jakumavi. So, go and pray. Go on your knees. Stop talking. Do not be discouraged. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Learn. Improve. And prosper. Yes, Jesus is with you. Uh, let us close with Philippians chapter 4. Uh, chapter 4 verse 13. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. You might fail. You might be discouraged. But you're with the one who never fails. You might be discouraged. But he's never discouraged. The one who called you is faithful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he will do it indeed. If he has taken Joseph from the prison, the one who was the one who was in an unknown country, the one who didn't have a lot of peace for him, the one who had been accused by the a, a scene that was not usual. No one could plead for him. But the Lord God of heaven he went and caused trouble somewhere. And they came and they remembered about him. And they took him and he had to come to the throne, to the seat of honor. And he became the prime minister of Egypt. That's what God can do for you if you keep being with him. God bless you. Continue the work that God has to do. Don't be idle. It will cause you to be poor. Being idle will cause you to be poor. Stop talking and start working. Because work, they speak for themselves. Because actions speak for themselves. Some will come in a praise zone. They will be like, oh, see what you do. You do not see what you do. I've done everything. No, work and I will see. It. If you do good, I will see it. I will see. Just it. work. Just work. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us pray. Let us stand and pray. Worship team. Worship team, please come. Young Monse. Tabi Vereye. Naruo. Rupa Niwe ya Muje ni mana Obunda Shima Eang Uze There is somewhere the Holy Spirit has spoken to you. And you need for God to come to your rescue, to heal you. For God to change your history. 
ikindi for God to make you something else that you want to be ariko ibyo waciyemo but what you've been through byagukinyize bikaba byarakujije kugera kuri icyo kintu it has caused you not to achieve what you wanted umurimo wawe your work ukaba urahuri utabuja utavahuri is where you are you're not moving reka nguzamuri nkubwire nguzamuri ukuboko kwawe twifatanye dusenge imana let me ask you to raise your hands and let us pray together imana nyirijuru ni imana ihindura amateka the god of heaven is a god who changed the course of history ibisika nibihome ni misozi ishobora kubihindura the walls and fortresses and mountains it can change it and imana ibasha kugutangaza he can surprise you Imani basha kukutanga. He can astonish you. Reka dusenge mu izina rya Yesu. Mana data mu izina rya Yesu. Lord God in the name of Jesus. Mana nkuru itabara. Mana nkuru gira neza. Genderera mwene data mu izina rya Yesu muraka kanya mana. Haleluya. Umaze iki gihe ari kuri ya musozi. Mana yo mwijuru amaze iki gihe hasengera. Yifuza kuwa ni mpinduka mu buzima bwe. Mana yo mwijuru haleluya kuri zo mpamva kwereka mana amazi giha kwereka data buja wera umukiri nzira hatari nzira ori ya baba shira ba glory haleluya umugirere neza mana o turasenga mwizira rya Yesu Kristo ngo mana yo mwijuru umureme mu mutima ni shaka ridasanzwe mana kugira ngo abone kugira neza kwawe mana ibyari impamvu zitari impamvu ziveho muremera amateka mashya mu izina rya Yesu aba mu rwanyaga mana wandwanze mu izina rya Yesu umugire neza mahana umuhere hobot mu izina rya Yesu mwe guturiza ahantu heza ntagende ngo adaba adamara remana ariko agende habonera umugisha wawe kandi agukorera ibyo mumaro mu izina rya Yesu urakoze uhabwe icyubahiro kubikoze mana twa icyubahiro tubisubemwa tukomera mu mashya mana Mwizina rikomeye rya Yesu. Amen. Imani mwa mugisha. God bless you.